Yeah. All right, good morning, everyone. Got a moon suit. Glad to be here with all of you. Let's uh, start off with some room introductions. I'm Dr. Hay, I'll be your surgeon. Our PA today should be Christina. We'll be here shortly. The patient's a very nice young man with severe scoliosis. It does take a little bit more time to use the checklist, but the team is just so much more prepared and seems to enjoy themselves better. We had a new SRNA in there and we went over everything for positioning and could hand them a copy of the sheet and they could also see it on the checklist. So, uh, especially when I come over here to Wake Med where they don't, I don't work with them as well as often, uh, it's nice to uh, have the checklist there. It was nice, one of the scrub techs actually chose to be in our room today because she likes to be there, which is awesome. So creating that environment where people want to be in your OR room, I think is a good sign. So we gotta go talk to the family and show them the x-rays. One of the things that I'll do is talk about the checklist as well. And uh, they seem to, in general, people like to see that, the uh, 170 steps that we go through and the extra care that we're taking to uh, take care of their precious child. So this is just, this is my lot. So here you can actually see it right here with my name on it. And since I'm not here at WakeMed very much, I don't have a, a screen set up in my room permanently, but what you can see here, uh, I had to have it in my locker. So I have the cords and stuff like that here. But having that screen and allowing the nurse to use that, especially for the time out um, and during surgery has uh, really been a game changer. It's been doing over four years now. So it's doable. You can, uh, you can do this and it'll help everybody. And uh, you'll feel more confident at the end of the day that you've done everything humanly possible uh, to take excellent care of your precious patients, but also your team. So I hope these things help. Uh, it is doable. It is hard to get people to change, that's for sure. Uh, but uh, I think in the long run, it's definitely worth it. I didn't really leave enough time uh, right before I left for work. And, and I think it's just good to plan a little bit of extra time just so you're not rushed and you know, get to pre-op area a little bit earlier. Uh, so as a result of that, I think when I got to the OR, I didn't have as quite as much time to do my flight brief. And I kind of just assumed that uh, they knew what to do because they had a circulator that I've worked with before. Um, but for example, they didn't have the uh, underbody warmer set up and uh, turns out they only didn't even have one. And so I should have looked at that first thing, just get in there, boom, do your flight brief, go over things. Even if it's your best team, go over it, make sure the x-ray, um, you know, x-ray holders in there, make sure you got all your stuff, just do the checklist on your phone, boom, 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 boom. And uh, it'll be uh, a lot safer. Uh, so that, but uh, anyway, I, I didn't know what we were gonna do, you know, to, to fix that. And so we ended up problem solving it together and used one of the overbody warmers and put it under, uh, underneath the patient, but decided to put it on top of the pad so it'd be closer to the patient. I did take about 10 minutes, even at the end of surgery, finishing my op node and finishing the checklist and putting in my um, setting scoliosis straight registry information. Um, Although this guy's Down syndrome, so he probably won't qualify for that, but I still like to capture the data. Uh, and I actually even capture that same data from my adult patients. Uh, so I, I like to use Three Greens as my little mini registry, whether I decide to share that data somewhere else or not. And, uh, um, you know, it takes a few extra minutes, but just like when I used to take flying lessons, if you just sit down for a few minutes after a lesson and kind of go over what did I learn, then you can sharpen the saw for next time. So it was a good, good morning, um, just a, a blessed time and people seem to enjoy themselves. So very thankful. And I would love to create a network through CareGuard where we are sharing our best practices, including our pie reps and other things in open community. It seems like there's so many things that we could do and if we could help each other and share, um, that would help us improve care a lot faster. And, you know, if somebody has a complication or comes up with a good idea, you know, to broadcast that out just like we share our checklists and uh, you know maybe you could help somebody else across the the city or even around the world so that's the vision it seems like it's been really tough to get it to work but I'm not giving up yet we have a few believers and I think we'll hopefully get more um, especially the younger pe people um, the pre-meds and the med students they get it um, even if the older folks are tough tough to change.